What's up guys, Craze here and welcome back to another special episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. In today's video we're going to take a look at the best guns you can get your hands on for each category that exists in this game. Before moving on I want to add that pistols and revolvers will both be treated in the same category of handguns and similarly this will also be true for repeaters and rifles as well. Starting things off with the handguns, this category features more than a dozen or so options, especially Especially if you're the explorer type and did some of the side content that rewards you more of them. There are a lot of base skins in it, even more reskins and it can become quite hard to follow once you've collected most if not all of these weapons. I currently have 15 handguns in total with probably only one revolver left to unlock but I believe that one is only available on the online. But to simplify all of this, think of it this way. In the revolver category there are 3 base models in total with several legendary or rare reskins for each. We have the Cattleman Revolver which is the one you get from the start of the game, the Schofield and finally the Double Action. Every other revolver is a modified version of this one in both stats and looks. But the general rule here is that the base models once fully upgraded with barrels, rifling and iron sights will outperform the reskins in any scenario. This means that if you're looking to min-max your performance, you'll only have to worry about the base models and not the reskins. The same goes for pistols as well, here we have again 3 base models which are the Volcanic Pistol, the Mauser and finally the Semi-Automatic and there's only one reskin to worry about which is the Midnight's Pistol, a Mauser reskin. But now that we have significantly narrowed down our search, it's time to move on to the 6 remaining picks that we have left. Beginning with the 3rd place in the handgun category, we have the semi-automatic pistol. It's by far the fastest one-handed weapon in the game, with a fire rate of 3.5 bars out of 4 maximum, an incredibly fast reload speed and a rather huge clip size of 8 bullets which pretty much makes it the biggest in the game. While the damage is the weakest in this category, it more than makes up for it with the aforementioned stats and if you happen to dual wield two of these bad boys, you can achieve some pretty spectacular results. The reason I picked this one and not the Mauser which has slightly lower speed and slightly bigger damage is because if I did want damage I would have picked a different option such as the next one on the list. And this brings us to the second spot in the handgun category and that goes to the Schofield Revolver. I will not lie, it was quite a tough pick considering that the Cattleman Revolver was already an excellent pick, but after much testing and consideration I have found the Schofield to be better for the following reasons. First, if you look at the stats alone, the Schofield outperforms the Cattleman in both damage and accuracy while only being slightly worse in fire rate, range and and reload speed. In terms of general gameplay, you're going to see differences in damage and accuracy much faster than in reload speed and fire rate, as these two tend to be greatly affected by user input and possible delays as well. Damage and accuracy, on the other hand, do not account for any of this, and it directly affects every shot you take when you take it. On top of that, I've already played with these two guns quite extensively, and the difference in reload speed and fire rate is almost unnoticeable. It's not more than a fraction of a second, but the bonus damage and especially the bonus accuracy definitely is. This is why the second spot will be taken by the Schofield, which is nothing more than a slight upgrade to the Cattleman, but still an upgrade nonetheless. Now the overall best handgun in the game and also the one that comes at number one on this list is the Volcanic Pistol. After the sawed off shotgun, this is the highest damage dealing one hand weapon in the game with a significant boost over the Schofield. Its accuracy is the highest in the handgun category, the reload speed is on the high end and the range on this is also slightly bigger than the previous gun which is the Schofield. It only suffers from poor rate of fire but with a big clip size of 8, this makes it higher than any of the best revolvers, you'll shoot for longer, you won't miss most of the targets and the well placed shot will always take the target in one go. On 
top of this, given the fact that the Volcanic Pistol can be acquired from quite early on in the game, ever since Chapter 2, it's really hard not to place it on the first spot. But moving on to shotguns, there are some very interesting choices to pick from here, but I again will only go over 3. Coming up at number 3, we have the Sawed Off Shotgun, which is also the only one-handed shotgun in the game. Normally, there are better two-handed variants that would outperform it, but having it in one hand only makes it extremely powerful, and if you dual wield these weapons, you're pretty much going to do the highest possible damage, or at least the highest burst damage in the game. It does suffer, unfortunately, from a very small clip size of only 2, but if you happen to dual wield these babies, you're going to annihilate everything in your path. The damage and the spread is simply insane in close range and you'll be blowing limbs and heads like there's no tomorrow. But yeah, it's the low clip size, lengthy reload animations and poor performance at everything except close range that places it at only the number 3. At number 2 we have a shotgun that can be acquired from very early on in the game as long as you find the secret weapon box that contains it, but otherwise you'll have to buy it from a gunsmith for a couple couple of hundred bucks later on into the story when it unlocks. Still, this is the semi-auto shotgun and it's at number 2 on the shotgun list and I am still debating if this should be on the first place or not because it would definitely deserve it. Nonetheless, the semi-auto shotgun features a high damage output, not the biggest in the shotgun category but still on the higher end, it has a rather high range for a weapon such as this, but most important of all, it has by far the highest accuracy of any other shotgun in Red Dead Redemption 2 which makes it extremely potent. And this is why it's so good, every shot you take with it has a long and precise reach and combined with a good overall damage, rate of fire and reload speed, it makes it the best choice up until chapter 4 or 5 when better options open up for you. And this brings us to the number 1 spot in the shotgun category and that has to go to the repeating shotgun. In general gameplay, the repeating repeating shotgun is very similar to the semi-auto, except it deals more damage, has a slightly higher clip size and the fire rate and reload speed are still high enough, somewhere around the same depending on how you play. It suffers from poor accuracy unfortunately, but compared to other options in this category, it's still holding up fairly good. And on top of this, you're going to use shotguns in close to mid-range combat anyway, which is where damage, clip size and fire rate become more important than accuracy and that is the reason why the repeating shotgun is the better choice. Moving on to the next category, we have repeaters and rifles that I'll rank against one another as they are quite similar in purpose. At number 3 we have the Litchfield repeater which is also arguably the best repeater and the only one that made it to the list. Its damage is rather high, almost close to breaking into the rifle category, the range is huge and the fire rate is also very good which coupled with the huge clip size of 16 makes it insane. It also has huge bonuses in both reload speed and especially accuracy which makes it a great end game weapon. Normally other repeaters will have lower damage but higher rates of fire that take way too long to kill targets and would be more suited for hunting animals for example of moderate size rather than killing humans. But the Lich Field can definitely take even the best long man in one go with a well placed shot, but do note that some rifles will outperform it. The second place will be given to the rare rolling block sniper rifle which comes by default with a full 4 out of 4 bar in damage, making it the highest damage dealing weapon on this list by default. Normally, one could argue that since this is the highest damage dealing weapon in the game, it would deserve the first place on this list, but since you only really need to use sniper rifles in the game instead of regular rifles, then it only places on the second spot. Its limited use is the reason I didn't give it the first spot and in my over 100 hours of gameplay, I have never felt the need to use sniper rifles at all except for like a couple of missions or once or twice when I really wanted to test things out, such as for example for the purpose of this video. Do note that unless you take this one during a certain mission in chapter 3 or 4 near roads, 
you're going to be locked out of it and you won't be able to take it later on into the game. This pretty much means that you'll have to choose between the regular rolling block rifle or the Carcano rifle and you can purchase these at the gunsmith but they will not have these high stats by default. Instead you will have to like increase familiarity with them and also upgrade them, add better bullets and so on. But yeah, it's not such a big loss. As I've said, the sniper rifles in this game are pretty situational because NPCs tend to move quite a lot and it's most probably only going to be useful when taking people by surprise, when shooting them from afar and that's pretty much it. Finally, at the number one spot in the rifle category, we have the bolt action rifle. Normally, this spot would have been reserved for the Springfield, which has higher damage than it, but that one suffers from some problems that I simply found too annoying to deal, especially when dealing with multiple enemies at the same time. And that is the fact that the Springfield, despite not technically having a clip size, as you load each bullet one by one, it does take ages to reload. When enemies start flanking you and running all over the place, you want to take them as fast as possible and not waste precious seconds on reloading animations, which is why I've come to the realization that the bolt action rifle is actually a better pick despite its slightly lower damage. Furthermore, the bolt action also has much higher range and accuracy, which coupled with a decent rate of fire and clip size of 5 makes it a better choice in most gameplay. And this pretty much sums up today's video with the best overall weapons in Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course, you can go ahead and experiment with them all and see which one fits your playstyle the best, but for the general gameplay, the list that I've just shown you is probably going to serve you perfectly fine. And that is all the time we have for today, guys. If you found this video enjoyable, then a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Also, share this video with your friends if you will, and I will see you guys in the next one. So, peace out.